I'm Ron Trillin. I'm the Vice President for Research at Kansas State University. The reason for doing this research in Manhattan versus somewhere in isolation, which we've heard suggested recently, is the fact that Plum Island is in fact isolated. It's on an island, it's difficult to get to, and as a result, you don't have the sort of uh, collaborations that are necessary to move research forward as quickly and expeditiously as you would like. And they've learned the lesson at, uh, at Plum Island not to do this sort of research in isolation. It's best done as part of an active, vibrant research community, and therefore, putting it next to a university on a university campus is the right answer. One of the reasons that uh, the Department of Homeland Security selected this site at Kansas State University is it's an area of research that we've been working on now for well over a decade. Back in 1999, we developed what we then called the Homeland Defense Food Safety, Security, and Emergency Preparedness Program. We identified back in 1999 the fact that we had over 130 faculty members working on infectious disease threats to the food crops, the food animals in Kansas along with the food supply. Therefore, it was clear we had the expertise here to work on these sorts of areas, so in advance of 9-11, we were already focused on protecting Kansas, protecting the nation, protecting the homeland. So it was an obvious selection to come here where we have the expertise, where we've been focusing on this, and part of what we called for in 1999 was a biocontainment facility here where the state and federal government combined have now built the Biosecurity Research Institute. It's ready to go and therefore it's not necessary to wait until 2014-2015 to start NBAF related research. We can do that today here in Manhattan.